What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. I wanted to talk to you guys today about one of the greatest video game series I believe that was ever made and that is Konami's Castlevania. Now if you only played the Castlevania Lords of Shadows games and you think that that's fun, I would encourage you to go back, do a little bit of homework and play the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Game Boy Advance and PlayStation more than anything else, the PlayStation version of Castlevania. Castlevania Symphony of the Night is hands down the fan favorite of all Castlevania games. It coined the phrase Metroidvania because it it merged so many different genres of gaming together. It merged Metroid with RPG elements and classic Castlevania gameplay and created a world that was beautifully stunning in graphics. It had amazing soundtrack in a story and difficulty that just got your blood boiling. It was an amazing experience and that probably is my favorite Castlevania. Now these games have had, barring the uh, Lords of Shadow games, have had one thing in common. Koji Igarashi. He's a gentleman who's been working with Konami since 1989 and he's worked on many of these Castlevania games including the, uh, the Game Boy Advance and DS versions of Castlevania Circle of the Moon is another one of them that I think is an amazing Castlevania game and he's been working with Konami on Castlevania for many years as a writer and as a developer and a producer and uh, it appears that Mr. Igarashi is leaving Konami of his own accord because of creative differences it appears that he's been frustrated not being able to work on his love which is Castlevania and at the same time watching it diminish and become something that it's not supposed to be uh, if you see the Castlevania Lords of Shadows games and you compare those to the Castlevanias of old, Castlevania uh, Symphony of the Night or you know Game Boy Advance or Nintendo DS versions of the game, it has changed so much and it has basically become God of War with a, a slightly different tweak on story. And uh, for someone like Koji who's been working on Castlevania for so many years, I know it have to hurt him because it hurts the it hurts us the gamers to see what they are doing to one of our most beloved franchises. But as I said, Mr. Igarashi is leaving Konami of his own accord. And this article is on NintendoLife.com. It reads: Kogi Igarashi, best known for Castlevania series, departs from Konami. Quote: I've decided to break out on my own. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's possible that gamers relatively fresh to Nintendo hardware won't know much about Kogi Igarashi's work, but Castlevania fan fans that enjoy the terrific series entries on the Game Boy Advance and DS in particular may mourn the, for the formal passing of an era today. Even if it's been on the cards for a significant period of time, the producer has confirmed that he's left Konami to pursue his own projects, which in itself may excite fans of his previous work. Often known as Aiga, Igarashi-san came to prominence due to his role as assistant director for Castlevania PlayStation 1 game, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, the title that brought us a well-worn Metroidvania turn. He would go on to be producer of the Castlevania franchise for a number of years, bringing us some terrific games in the process. This run included six excellent games across the Game Boy Advance and DS, ending with Castlevania Order of Excelia which is awesome. You guys should check it out if you haven't. He also produced the thoroughly enjoyable Castlevania The Adventure Rebirth on the WiiWare and Wii title Castlevania Judgment, the latter of which certainly divided fans and spe spelling pendants. <laughs> that Castlevania Judgment was on Nintendo Wii. It was a fighting game and it did really terrible. Unfortunately, dipping sales of these games saw Igarashi-san moved into other things and he's played no role in the Lords of Shadow series. After a spell out of the spotlight, Igarashi-san has told IGN that he's, form that he's formally left Konami and plans to form his own studio. In pleasing news for fans of his work, he aims to get back to making games about which he's passionate. Quote, I've decided to break out on my own to have the freedom to make the kind of games I really want to make. The same kind I think fans of my past games want as well. Leaving Konami was a big decision and not one I took lightly. I spent my entire career here, made many friends, and had a lot of great opportunities. But I hope all the games and fans who have supported me, in the, all the gamers and fans who have supported me in the past, will join me in being excited about what comes next. 
Wish me luck. Are you a fan of Koji Koji Igarashi's work on the Castlevania series across Game Boy Advance, DS, the Wii, and the PlayStation? Let me know what is your favorite Castlevania game. And also, let me know what your thoughts are on Koji, Koji Igarashi leaving Konami. I think that... uh. This could be a very positive move in the right direction for him. He's incredibly talented. He's worked on one of my favorite games of all time. And I have to say, if you have a PlayStation 1 or if you have PlayStation Network, you can also download the game. I believe it's only $7, 7 dollars 7 on PlayStation uh, Network. For PlayStation 3, you can download the PlayStation 1 Classic. That should be everybody's first pick. It's an amazing game, story, soundtrack, gameplay. You know, and, and there's so much you can do in the game. It lasts so many hours. And on top of that, he's worked on the Game Boy Advance games. I don't know if he was instrumental in working on the Circle of the Moon and Aria of Sorrow. But those games for Game Boy Advance, when I played them, my mind, I couldn't believe that that was actually on a Game Boy Advance. But, yeah, uh, Igarashi, uh, I wish you much, much luck and success. It appears that he wants to go on out and make uh, the kind of games that Castlevania gamers and his fans really are excited about. And uh, if he has, you know, I don't know if he wants to do a Kickstarter or what. He's developing, his, he's starting his own studio and his own development house. And if he wants to create a whole new series that's like Castlevania, I don't think many people would oppose that. You know, Konami is the name of, of the company he worked for, and the idea of Castlevania came from an individual. And of course, he wasn't the originator of Castlevania, but he made it greater than it was. Because I played and beat Castlevania 1, Castlevania 2, Castlevania 3, and I love those games. But when Symphony of the Night came out in the 90s, my mind was not prepared for that type of gameplay. And uh, seeing how deep and enthralling the story was, really really helped me to see that you know the future was bright for Castlevania it kind of is a letdown to see the Lords of Shadow games I was really let down with the initial because I felt like it was God of War with the Castlevania story sewn in it was no castle it was all outdoors and it was disappointing to say the least you guys let me know what you think about Koji leaving Konami and uh, let me know also what is your favorite Castlevania game and if you have not played one, please pick it up and give it a shot. Symphony of the Night is by far the best Castlevania ever made. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.